Here's the silver side spearing. And get this hook in the vise first. And start with some white thread. Next up is the white hair, a little curve in that, just going to cut a little section off. If you refer back to the original that we were working off of, there's a, it's pretty sparse, there's not a lot. So we're just using a little bit of hair like this, put that white on the bottom. I'm going to take a little bit of the green hair. Put that along the top. And wrap forward a little bit. Now I can trim off that extra. Now we're going to take some of this flash material and put it on, on both sides, about as long as the hair is. Strand in the back and then another on the front here. I'm going to cut those to length because I left those long. Back one was already set to length. So now we're going to come up here. I'm just going to kind of wrap a little bit more up towards the head because we're going to want a little larger head in a couple of minutes here. So we'll start that on the underside real quick. Now we're going to do a whip finish. At this point we can cut off that thread. Now we're going to add the tubing that you see on the original here. This tubing's got a center core. I just leave it in there just to help control it. And I'll pull it back. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I'll pull it back to about where I need it which is about there. So now I'm going to take the side that I need and hold it right there. Come in and snip that right across. And now with that just newly cut, I'm just going to lightly melt that end real carefully. And that'll help hold that in place while I work with it instead of flaring out. You can see how this end just gone, gone crazy. So melting it just helps kind of control it for now. So now I'm going to take this and put it on the hook. And when I get back to where the hook starts to bend, I'm going to go past that bend a little bit. In this case, I've got some, maybe a little bit extra. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to compensate for that by cutting it again right here on the hook. In this case, I don't need to, actually I'm going to melt it just real quick. Because that will allow me to grab my thread without that falling apart. So now I'm going to come back up here, start my thread back on. That excess piece, of course, is coming off. And I'm just going to do a small head here. I started the head underneath to kind of bulk it up a little bit for the eyes. Bulking that up underneath just allows me to hopefully have a good base to finish the eyes here. The 
eyes are pretty small, so I don't need a huge head here. And now whip finish. Okay, now I'm going to take the eyes, these tiny little eyes, and one on the front and one on the back. Well, those are sitting there for just a second. See how this material is coming down the back, down the hook a little bit? And on the original, it's kind of straight back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that. But before I pick it up off the vise, I'm going to put some of this wild water UV resin to lock those eyes in place. Get that bubble out of the way. There's some of the material. Come in with my bodkin. And just kind of work that around a little bit. Some of that on the underside. I'm going to lock that in with the light. A couple of seconds on the light should be good for this. That's what's great about UV resin. And now I'm going to come back in and take this off the vise for now. And I'm going to just snip right up the back of this here. And now you can see that's going to go straight back. But we don't want that unraveling there either, so we can take another drop of this resin. You can use super glue if you don't have the resin. But you just want a little bit of this back here to help it from unraveling on you. Use my bodkin again and just kind of make sure that's on both sides. I'll come back up with a little on the front on the eyes. That one eye didn't look like it had quite enough earlier. A little bit more of the UV. And that's the silver side sparing.